This is going to be a good series. You have a rematch of last year when the Knicks took out the Celtics in five and Irving stomped on the logo and a fan threw a water bottle at him. But this is a different Celtics team, one that no longer sees itself as inferior. They know they are better than the Nets and Tatum sees himself as the best player on the floor. This series not only features great players and great teams, but a bitter rivalry stemming from Irving's bitter departure from Boston. Fans are still upset with him, but honestly, I don't think Tatum and Brown would have flourished like they have if Irving was still there with his thumb over their development. The Garden will be rocking. The Celtics want revenge. They have the confidence, and this will be a Celtics win and cover. You know that defense wins championships. If you can't buckle down and get stops when you need to in late games, you can't win a title. One of these teams is great defensively, the Celtics, and one is not. Hmm, the Nets. While the absence of Williams gives me some pause, I still think this is a defensive battle. This total is foolishly based on the scoring averages of these two teams, about 112 points each. That ain't happening. Good defense dictates play in the playoffs. So look for this game to be more along the lines of their points allowed per game averages as opposed to their points scored per game average. That would put this total at around 215 or 216. So, this one no-brainer go under that's what we're going with the two plays we're going to go with in this one we are going celtics minus four brooklyn boston under 224 what say you let me know in the comment section whatever you do taylor fade may the winner be yours good luck to each and everybody we're all here for the same reason to get that cash see you in the next video this is trending rabbit